During the summer of 1862, the Battle of Turner Springs took place on a patch of farmland owned by Marshall Scott, a Confederate sympathizer. It was a battle which would last for over two weeks and cost thousands of lives. I want to look like that guy. What, you want a fake beard? Yeah. And one of them hats. No, Civil War hat. It was a battle that many thought nope. was over. That's French resistance. The Civil War. The reenactments. <laughs> the reenactment of the Battle of Turner Springs would prove to be one of the fake bloodiest in history. This was an important battle to reenact because it had never been reenacted before. There had been several attempts to reenact it, but each time something had gone awry or afoul or askew. <laughs> One time, all three. Thousands would come to pretend to be brave. It was a reenactment that pit brother against brother. <laughs> Travis and Lamar Kittle of Hapsburg, Maryland, were born in this modest house on the Mason-Dixon line, where they still live today. Travis, a high school dropout and current high school teacher, looked forward to reflecting upon the impending past memory of the future reenactment with great relish. Lamar was a two-time state yelling champion who had dreams of someday finding a box of money. <laughs> the reenactment would take place over 50 miles away and would take the two boys away from their mother for the first time in almost 10 years. It was decided Lamar would be the navigator. Travis would drive the car and photograph him. Mama, here's a funny postcard I bought. Hope you're doing well. We almost are there. What? Oh, Travis says, hey. Love, Lamar. And on the front of the postcard, a message of hope to his mother. Your new daughter-in-law. Ha ha. But the distant thunder of drums would soon erase the sounds of their laughter. For this was a day that would not only see north against south, but Lincoln against Lincoln. Well, you see, uh, two Lincolns showed up. Now, that was a case of poor planning, pure and simple. And Lincoln himself had never been at the actual battle in the first place, so neither of them showed up in there. It was too, too many. It was soon time for the battle. This rare footage captures a speech given by Blaine Pilden, who portrayed Confederate General Austin Bullard. Today, we simulate the glory of the men who could not be here today. They fought a life battle against death, brothers against cousins, Hus husbands against uncles. They had sores on their on our hands. But I've got the permit right here. Look, we're not about some made-up fairy tale party. This is about important history. But we always hold the Renaissance Fair here. We do it every year. Okay, all right. Look, why don't you guys just go out in the parking lot and have your little pageant there? Okay? No! It seems as though we've landed in two different time periods. Thank you, science officer Kwandauer of Sector 5. Who are you guys supposed to be? Careful, Commander. These aliens appear hostile. Oh, these guys always show up at our Renaissance Fair, and they, and they pretend that they've been transported from some other time, and then they try to engage us in battle. Set your phaser on stun, Commander. No, you want to just set your phaser on shut up. Uh, you shut up. All right, hey. that's enough. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Excellent. You guys take off, all right? Just take a hike. Take a hike. Well, eventually everything got squared away, and Boss Hogg was able to get the moonshine to his granny. And what about the battle leader? Oh, well, that was held out in the parking lot. Yeah, everything was fine, but uh, uh, someone being in a tire on a car, that caused problems for a family of five. 
<laughs> what I really would have liked to have seen would have been a battle between the uh, space people and the medieval folks and the Civil War chums. Uh, that park ranger, he could have jumped in there too or wouldn't have minded that. <laughs> Huh? The doctor will see you now. Oh. <laughs>